Welcome friends, today we conclude our Lions journey with the line 6, the role model or teacher for the profiles 36, 46, 62 and 63. Now these are the visionaries, these are the people that bring the long-term vision, they are here for the great things, these are the wise elders of the tribe, these are the people that are the role models that people come for them, so how do I live my life? You know? And it's very different from all the other lines. And it's the only one that has three different phases during their lives. So the first phase is going to be until you're around 30 years old with your Saturn return. And this is going to act like a line three. So it's going to be exploratory, a lot of experimentation, a lot of trial and error, a lot of seeing what you like and what you don't like. So this is not a period for you to find your soulmate or find your life's purpose or completely achieve success in your life. This is a period for you to live your life, to try different things, to experiment with different things. Again, see what works, what doesn't work. And you here you have all the benefits, again, of the line three, the resiliency, the capacity to take a mistake and then get up again and take the blow and get up again you know and this is a very valuable moment for you this is where you really can explore in your life of course always using your strategy and your authority and not just doing whatever you want the second period from 30 to 50 years old is going to be about integrating all those things that you experimented with and perhaps here you're going to feel like isolating yourself, like withdrawing yourself before you were on the field, touching everything, trying everything, you know, really interacting with the world. And here you will feel like maybe you want to withdraw a little bit and maybe you won't try so many new things anymore. And you have a clear idea of what worked and what didn't work for you. And it's important that you transcend this phase because here you lose all the benefits that you had from the line three. You're not so resilient anymore, particularly the line six body is very sensitive once you get to this stage. You cannot afford all the experimentation, all the late nights, all the playing with drugs or different things that you could do with uh, the line three benefits. It doesn't mean like in this period you're not going to be able to work or interact with people or do the things that you want to do. Um, you're going to be taking a little bit more of a higher perspective. And this is where you're going to be planting the seeds of the things that are going to blossom later on in your life. So you're going to start the first steps of your business. You're going to start the first steps of being recognized as a role model, as a unique person that has their own unique way of living life, not a prefabricated thing, a pre-made life. People are going to be looking at you and say like, oh, how did you choose to live your life? You know, what kind of job, what kind of uh, routine you have every day? What kind of partners do you choose? Are you in open relationships or closed? Or do you choose to work from on the internet a few hours a day or you have a full-time job? You really here start living your own life from the things you learned in the first period. And people are going to start looking at you and asking more and more for your wisdom and coming at you for your wisdom. Again, it's called the teacher. So you have a really good base here to start teaching people whatever it is that you learn in your first 30 years. Later on, when you're 50 years old, and this coincides with the return of Chiron to its original position when you were born, this is really when you harvest everything that you've been planting on that 30 to 50 years old journey. This is here when you really start reaping the big benefits. This is when you consolidate yourself as a wise person. And this is the full manifestation of the role model. But let's talk a little bit more about the themes of the line six. The six wants to change the world, wants to bring the long-term vision, wants to bring the new stage of evolution for human beings, for your country, for your family, for your tribe. You are a natural wise guide. You're centered about education, changing the way people think, changing the way people see their lives, really making people have a different perspective on life. It's also called farseer, having a dream of the future that hasn't manifested yet and having faith that that will come into fruition. Perhaps a line three will say like, oh, I don't know if that ever will happen or the line one is gonna stick to its gun and its foundational things and its grounded things. The line six puts all of the money in the future. It's like, okay, how are we gonna get to this vision, to this new human being, to this new way of community, this new way of relating? Line six is all about that. How can we reach the next stage? And it also includes a broad overview. It includes meeting all of the parts together 
making all of the systems coincide and come into the same place. Perhaps you're studying yoga and human design and astrology and breath work or some other things. How can all of these systems come together into something that is going to crystallize the long-term vision in the end? By the way, if you are wanting to go deeper into human design and with Jinkies and you want a resource that has all the information, the types, the centers, the authorities, the gates, the circuitry, and the spheres of the Jinkies profile, and many other things, I've made this resource that has all of this information in a very easy to absorb way. I'm going to put a link in the description down below if you want to check it out further. And now let's talk about the shadows of the line six. And here we have themes of isolation, judging, bypassing, being on a high horse, spiritual bypassing on top of everything. So you're going to see a lot of line sixes in their shadow uh, talking from a high horse, you know, like saying like, oh, you're not following this or this principle or you're not doing this on that. And maybe they're not even practicing what they're preaching. You know, there's going to be this arrogance as well, this judgy arrogance, this nose up, you know, I think, huh, you know, and they can have a really hard time uh, meeting their long term vision with reality. Maybe they want to have this uh, thing far in the future that wants to crystallize, but they have a really hard time crystallizing the first step. So you want to have this YouTube channel with 100,000 viewers, or you want to speak to 50,000 people, or you want to have this big center and community where you teach all these spiritual things, uh, but you're stuck here and you have a day job and you don't have enough money to do all of these things yet, and how are you going to marry that? So a lot of the line sixes have difficulty here to take the first step to make their first video, to start their first uh, public speaking gig with a small audience or open a little business, a little yoga shala where they can teach a few students. They really have a problem being able to marry themselves to that small thing that later on is going to take them to the higher vision. But for them, ah, it might not feel enough right now. And for this, the medicine is patience. It's really taking the time to take all the little steps and it might take all of your life, you know, maybe you're 30 in your 30s right now and it's like, oh, it feels so far away. My 50s are so far away. But take those little steps, take those little things, start moving forward in that direction and have faith in the crystallization of your higher uh, vision. Another aspect of the shadow of the line six is isolation. It's taking yourself out from the situation. It's being in your mind instead of being in your body. It's Perhaps you have a discussion with your loved one and you completely detach and take the mental perspective and you don't get into your feelings or the same with your friends. You go out of reality and you detach. You know, the, again, themes of spiritual bypassing of maybe you have a loved one who had someone that died and you say like, oh, yeah, but we are eternal and we live many lives, you know, and this is just a transition. And it's true. You know, it's true, but at the same time, you're lacking the sensitivity, you're lacking the involvement for the process that that person is going through. Yeah. Again, themes of ignoring the body, especially with the six twos, uh, the vision, that line six vision in the personality goes faster, goes much deeper than what the body can follow through with. So many times you have themes of not eating well, not sleeping well, not having regular good habits and thinking ah, like that's beyond me, I don't need to play by those rules and maybe you want to hang out with uh, line one or line three that are going to tell you like no, 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 you, you need to pay your dues, you know, you're in a physical body, like you need to do the thing and listen to them if you have friends like that because they have a point, you know, like you're, it's not all mind over matter. In the end, have patience, stick to your long-term vision, have faith, you're going to become a role model for people, a teacher, and people are going to come to you for wisdom. It's natural for you. It's going to come very easily for you to give your wisdom to other people, your experience in life. And perhaps beyond your years, you know, you might be already in your 30s and people are going to start seeing you as a role model. And again, this will completely flourish when you are in your 50s. If you have a line six out, my best advice is, again, be patient with them. They're going to go through all their line three process. Watch the video for the line three. Let them experiment. Let them try different things. If they sign up for three different colleges, trying three different careers, and they don't finish any of them, it's fine. Let them have that. And perhaps they're not going to do any of those things in the end. But whatever they learn 
in those processes, whatever they experience in those processes will give them the tools to integrate all that into whatever is their long-term vision. So have a little bit of patience with those kids. By the way, if you are wanting to go deeper into human design, you want to perhaps use it on your coaching program or start a new business doing human design readings, we are starting a new program soon. It's going to have all of the knowledge, the types, centers, the authorities. We're going to go through all of it. It's going to have practices. It's going to have live Q&As. It's also going to have all of our experience into how to start a human design business, how to promote on social media, how to start a business doing readings, how to set up your website and many more other things. If you want to know more, I'm going to put a link in the description. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, you can like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you soon.